Ever since I can remember, I've been giving it my all. People wanting me to fall, got my back against the wall. So last time, the first time we, when I first met you, it was down at Chow Lounge. Yeah. And I opened up for Chu Jackson. Yeah, Mod Sun and Cisco Adler yeah. down there. Yeah, was, that, that how was, was that, though? I talked to you, like, yeah. right, I think, right, right when you right got off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> so how was that? I didn't really get to, we didn't really get to talk like that. But how was that, man? That uh, I can't even explain how beneficial that show was for us. Like, you know, just talking to Mod Sun. Like, he was a real, you know, chill person, you know. I remember meeting him. Was he high? Time. Well, I probably. I yeah. mean, I mean, with, with, his hippie, <laughs> with his hippie hop movement, I wouldn't yeah. doubt it. But, um, yeah, I met him in December at Slippery Rock because he opened for Mac. Right. And he still remembered me when I came up to him afterwards. Like, he remembered that instance at the show. And I was like, you know, that's pretty cool that you actually remember someone, you know, for as many shows as you go on, like, to actually remember who I was. Like, he right. told me, he was like, oh, I was going to follow you on Twitter, but I forgot. He was like... He was like, is it GP412? And I'm like, oh, you know, he wasn't kidding. Like, he knew. Like, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, just made so many connections, new fans. I mean, it was just the greatest show I could ever do so far. What was the, why did you do the, the whole name? I know I'm getting on top of the name, though. The GP or yeah. the Going Places? It's GP, but it stands for Going, going Places. Yeah. Why did you, why'd you pick that? Well, I mean, originally, when I, you know, started out younger, it was originally supposed to be going platinum, because okay. that's, you know, I was like, oh, the rapper, you know, I'm going platinum with this. But as I got older, I realized, I was like, it's not just about money, it's not just about the material things you get from music, it's about, you know, going places with it, like, you know, doing shows, you know, meeting new people, you know, whatever the case may be, so that's why I stuck with that, it's just okay. like, going places with the music. All right, so... Being that you, you said about the network you did down at the show, mm -hmm. you, I'm guessing you impressed uh, Chu Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we chopped it up for a little bit. I mean, he had a, I guess it was from all the shows he did, he did, you know, like his voice gave out on him, so yeah. I didn't want to talk to him. I tried to get much. an interview with him. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, he was like, I can't talk right now. I can't I give, talk. I give him so much props. He performed with like a hoarse throat. Like, yeah. it, <laughs> I just, I just, nothing but respect for that. So I didn't want to, you know, keep him talking and you know try and get right. too much into it but yeah he was definitely a cool dude he had like this seven foot five guy on the stage <laughs> rapping for him. it was crazy I know right? dude was pretty tall like that's the tallest dude ever that ever walked in shadow lounge <laughs> yeah he held it down though he knew he, he held it down yeah he him. definitely knew all the words to the song I mean that's the exclusive we got coming right right, right. yeah yeah we're gonna wait place. for that though we're gonna yeah, wait yeah we're gonna we'll, wait for that we're gonna kind of dangle in front of him right yeah, now you know it's coming <laughs> it's coming soon so what what was the uh, the next show you got coming up? Uh, the next show we got is August eighth down at the Altar Bar, uh, performing with uh, Toronto rapper D Pride. Uh, he's real big on YouTube. That's how he got his start. Okay. And uh, a couple other people. Uh, but yeah, December or December August eighth. Uh, that's when we're holding that down at the Altar Bar. All right, definitely. We're gonna go check that out. You know, so definitely on August eighth. That's not on Monday, is it? No, no. I think it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. Yeah. I'll be down there. We'll go down there and check it out, Selena. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Guess what? You don't have a choice. We're going down there. So, I mean, we got some more tracks down here to play. I want to put on this Watching Movies GP mix because I don't think I've heard I haven't heard it yet. Oh, really? Matter of fact, I know I've heard it. <laughs> the last mix I heard was the, uh, what mix was it you took from? I can't. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh yeah, the backseat freestyle. Backseat freestyle. Yeah. What made what? Who was the the deciding force with this GP mix? Like, I mean, honestly, you know, it's all once again like how I started. It would just be going over all these different beats and like doing all that. And I hated saying freestyles because I always write everything. I don't like you know I can't you know really go off the dome without you know doing gibberish or you know yeah. just messing up lines. So. And I didn't want to say remix, so I said, how about we just call it GP mix? Because it's my own little twist on these songs. So, you know, we put GP mix on these and they started taking off. Because that's actually how I got to know, you know what I'm saying, where the music was mm -hmm. at. I was just hashtag GP mix. I'll find mm -hmm. it. It'll come up. Yeah, it, it just, it, it's just, I guess it was just catchy. Like, everyone's like, oh, no, GP mix out, you know. Definitely. Ever since I can remember, I've been giving it my all. People wanting me to fall.